What's up everybody? It's Maynard Wagner again with Remax Northwest here in Seattle. Thank you for watching. So today's question is, what is the difference between a condo, a townhome, and a single family home? All right, well, first of all, in a condo, what you own actually is what's inside those four walls. Generally, everything outside of it is not owned by you. It is managed and taken care of by the Homeowners Association. As a condo owner, you have to pay monthly Homeowners Association dues, which goes into the maintenance and care of the rest of the building. But from an ownership standpoint, you own just what's inside those four walls. A townhome, on the other hand, is often part of a smaller little development of homes, sometimes two homes, sometimes six homes, sometimes eight homes. You do not have a homeowners association associated with being in a townhome. Instead, what you have is a no-fee joint maintenance agreement. Um, it can vary, but I'm talking about what's most common. And in the event that perhaps the driveway cracked, there's a sewer line that cracked, things that you shared with, with respect to the other townhomes in the community, then you'd be responsible for paying for it. But you do not have an official homeowners association like you do with a condo. Lenders will look at a condo and a townhome very differently. And last but not least, a single family home, very straightforward. It's a house on a lot and you're responsible for everything inside that lot. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I look forward to talking to you on the next one. Thanks for watching.